When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back, back in the game, back in motion, back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists, we will get you back. So here at Gold Coast Firestone, we specialize in your scheduled maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations. Um, we can special order any tire size you need, including we have some new trailer tires, ATV tires, and of course your regular car and truck tires. Um, we also specialize in AC work, brakes, just about anything you need for your automotive repair. Omnitech is a, an American-based MSP. We're a multiple service provider. We provide IT support, telephone systems, especially specializing in VoIP, voice over IP services, and uh, electronic security protection, such as uh, alarm systems, uh, surveillance systems, and access control systems. Basically, we try to be your one-stop shop for all your technical needs, and we want to just keep you connected. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of Exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any, anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys. I feel like I got the best value at Heritage Homes. Buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions that I plan on making in my lifetime. And I feel like I got the best price for what I wanted. I love my house. <laughs> We're a building a lot home builder, and what that means is if you own your property or if you're looking for property to build on, then we can build on it for you. We'll help you find a floor plan and customize it. Whether you were to come in or if you were to go online and, and see our website and talk to us on the live chat, we would help you pick out a floor plan. You would work with one of our designers and he would make customizations, rearrange it for you if you wanted to um, help you make the home yours. I've had so many people that's asked me who built my house. Everything that we asked and, and said we wanted, they were willing to listen and go, we'll, we'll make it happen. Not only do we build for our homeowners, we build for their friends, their family. Uh, they even come back to us and build their second and third homes with us. We built, I think it's over 3,500 homes now. Family is important to us. We um, know that the biggest thing about family is trust and we want you to know that we're here for you throughout the process. We're right here by your side and that the house that you envision when you first walk in and meet with a designer, that's the house you're going to get whenever you finish the process and you move in. We have built great relationships with not only the players, the staff, and everything to do with the team, 
We've also built great relationships with other sponsors. Um, one of the things we incorporated this year and we plan to keep moving forward with is a discount to other sponsors. And some other sponsors have now jumped on board and are offering discounts to us and other sponsors as well. So it's just building another community of networking for business networking. And uh, I believe it's helping uh, grow small businesses here on the Gulf Coast. Hey Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six month tire financing program. Only $149 down, minimal purchase, and you're good to go. Here we go. Paintball Republic Seawolves down here. Woo! Having a blast. This is so intense. So much fun. So I can't wait to get back out there. Let's go. This is just kill.
and welcome. Live from Sully's in Gulfport is the uh, is this the final regular season game? The final regular season game. The final final regular season game for the Sea Wolves. Matt Horde on the ones and twos. Derek Ladner to my right. I'm Wes Barnett. I, I messed up your name a little bit, dude. I'm yeah, trying. let's not do that. Hey, we're getting it. Derek Ladner. There now, it uh, is. So, Sea Wolves Zydeco, uh, a tale as old as time, if you will. Uh, we've seen them. I'm willing to to wager more than just about anybody else, right? Uh, we've had good results. We've had bad results. We've had uh, average results. We've had everything in between. Five on three, three on three, everything. Overtime, shootouts, literally every possible circumstance in hockey uh, we've had. And tonight, I expect nothing different. Yeah, uh, well, I would expect a different result. Yeah, that, that too. You know, based on last night. So, uh, most definitely a, di a different result. And... Uh, I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, that's 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 what it is. Yeah. last game of the year. Can't hold anything back now. Uh, so we had was it Jackson Bond? I think he had two goals. Was it? He two? Did. Yeah, he had he two did. goals. I mean, there's some good Jackson Bond. I would talk about him in particular, right? He's one of those guys that uh, doesn't always get the goal, right? He scored more recently, more frequently, more recently. Uh, but he is uh, he's that that guy that flies around the ice, offense, defense, uh, everything in between. So it's good to see him get rewarded. Uh, with a two goal game like that. Yeah, and last night going uh, Baton Rouge's way five to two. Uh, you know, late in the game, uh, Baton Rouge grasp in an empty net. Mm. You know, it is what it is. And uh, you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna get momentum going into the playoffs, we have to start tonight. Right. Well, last night, well, yeah, but that's behind about us. About two know? weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, already clinched uh, the fourth seed, uh, number one seed being Columbus. And we saw them last week. See them again. That'll be Wednesday night at home. And then it'll be hopefully, hopefully no games because we win the home game and the first away game. But uh, the series is set out. Uh, lower seed gets the first home game and then two for the higher seed. Two in Columbus. So we'll yeah. play Wednesday night, uh, 7 o'clock in the Wolves' den. And then we'll go to Columbus Friday and Saturday night. <sighs> Some big things, uh, big things coming. So. Do you want to take a short break, or you want to hold it here? We're we're kind of getting some things on the ice. I'll I'll let you make that call. Yeah, let's uh let's take a short break. We'll be back and uh, getting ready for puck drop. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back, back in the game, back in motion, back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists, we will get you back. So here at Gulf Coast Firestone, we specialize in your scheduled maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations. Um, we can special order any tire size you need, including we have some new trailer tires, ATV tires, and of course your regular car and truck tires. Um, we also specialize in AC work, brakes, just about anything you need for your automotive repair.
live in Sully's in Gulfport. Some Sea Wolves Saturday night hockey taking on the Baton Rouge Zydeco on the road against the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Three game series. Three game series. The final, the grand finale of the regular season. So some things to uh, to watch. What do we'll see? The Zydeco don't. They're not going to the playoffs, so they're going to obviously be trying to finish on a high note, right? Beat a rival team. Uh, but the Sea Wolves, right? You want to win this game, especially after after dropping uh, the ones that you have five uh, in a row. Yeah, that, I mean, you need some momentum going into the playoffs, but but also at, at some point, whether you're up or down, you know, hey, we need this this line. We want to try this out. We want to check this out, right? So, what are some things that that coach is going to do differently, uh, or similarly, or, or what to watch maybe leading into this playoff game? Yeah, and you know, well, we've seen a graphic of Joe Shepard, but. That's obviously that's yeah. Austin Milan. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it kind of threw me off for a minute. I'm like, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> a little smaller than Joe Shepard in the net. All right, here we go. Center ice puck drop. Almost missed it, but here we go. Connor Lynn gets the uh, first attempt. It's brushed away, and now a battle for it. Look like a hand pass. He gets away with it. See Wolves keep it the, on their side of the ice. There's Bar in pursuit. Had a two-way option for the pass. Went the other way. Zydeco are going to dump it. Race to it, but Connor Lind, good angle, get in front of that one. Passed over, that's Lissio just out of reach. That goes all the way, I'm wondering, and uh, it sure is. And ready? Omni there it is. Tech there it is. I was, trying to, I was trying to give you the softball there for the Omnitech icing. And I hit it out the park. Yeah, well, if it was a change-up because you were a little late on it. Hey, <laughs> there it is. All right. <laughs> Be here all week. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like Scott Chirac for the Zydeco, Justin Barr, El Capitan for the Sea Wolves in the face-off circle. There's MJ Graham. Can I can I name MJ Graham the uh, Bay Pest Control Pest? No, nah, let's stay with Tyler Larwood. Tyler Larwood. All right, all right. Every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Every single time, Larwood gets the uh, gets the nod, gets the title of the Bay Pest Control Pest of the Game. I think it was last night or the night before. We uh, Baton Rouge named Philip Wong the uh, Pest of the Game, and it, it was the night he had the one oh. one hit wonder where he knocked the dude flat off his skates with one hit. I mean, that's that sounds like something a pest would do. <laughs> as uh, Philip Wong gets the pass in there, Stoya. Uh, chalked that one up to Dirty Dangles, but uh, Zydeco falls down. I don't know if that was because of the stick handling, but we're going to say it was. Sea Wolves will play it back in their own zone. There's Stoya slow playing it. He gets over to Jackson Bond. And uh, Jackson Bond, faster than everybody again. There's Wong. On the far side, over to Stoya. Stoya coming up. Yes. Now back over. Play behind their own net. They'll send it on. Connor Lynn looked like he was going to go for it. And then Jackson Bond took an attempt, but neither one of them could get there. Zydeco playing patient. You see Portillo forcing things. Dalton Anderson on the ice as well. Number 13, Joe Pace, the man himself, over in the corner. Played along the blue line, but not really any forward momentum. They'll dump it in, and that's going to be a race for it. It's Curtis Hansen. Now back over and just a, a sweep towards the goal. Knocks Phil Blanc's stick out of his hand. But nothing going. Seawolves in the offensive zone. A lot of gliding around. Uh, have, you, have you noticed that? Not much, uh, not much hard skating so far. It's been a fast-paced game, but... Sort of a uh, a patient. Very back and forth. Now played back over. By the far side in the corner. Milan having a trouble with it. A couple of quick shots. That's Jake Cox. She skates it out.
play back around the net. They'll come back into neutral ice. It's Michael Haskins. And Philip Wong, our number 10 versus their number 10. Yeah, it's Philip Wong, Michael Haskins. Shot on net there, looked like by uh, Danny Lissio. Goes out of play. 16 minutes, 25 seconds left in the first period. 0-0. Zero, zero. Face off circle. Here's Justin Barr. They'll play it along behind the net. That's Helen. He can't get quite get there. Now Joe Pace's job to play defense. Joe Pace separates the opponent from the puck. Definitely says something to him. That one goes back over for Barr. I didn't know where that puck went. I thought it was going to go, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Lissio back over with it. Played along the blue line. We'll have Lissio cutting across the ice, but he's going off, and they'll dump it in. Helen wants a penalty. Physical play there. Now taking a neutral zone. Played off the boards, dumped again. A little give and go. Good puck movement by the Zydeco, but good defensive stick. It was uh, Connor Mullins. To Jackson Bond. Jackson Bond with the shot right in the gut. Speaking of Jackson Bond, today is his birthday. We want to wish Jackson Bond a very happy birthday. How old is he? I don't know. That's a question for him. For Matt or <laughs> Jackson for Bond? Jackson. Okay. He's old enough to party. All right. I think, in all seriousness, he's, got, uh, he's one of the younger ones, isn't he? Phil Long in the face-off circle. And uh, Wong with some aggression after that. Another big hit. After uh, after I said, been a lot of gliding around. Seawolf. Kind of getting after it. There's Stoya. Stoya from neutral ice sends a shot, but it gets hit in the traffic. It'll bounce out. 15 minutes remaining in the first period. Big hit. I believe that was Larwood who delivered that one. You see him and Joe Pace get tied up. It sure was. Good save by... Is it Mellon or Moline? Moline? I've heard, Moline. I've heard it Media two ways. timeout. Media timeout. We'll be right back. Live from Sully's, the Seawolves Broadcast Network. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back. Back in the game. Back in motion. Back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, Utilizing advanced technology and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists. We will get you back. So here at Gulf Coast Firestone, we specialize in your scheduled maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations. Um, we can special order any tire size you need, including we have some new trailer tires, ATV tires, and of course your regular car and truck tires. Um, we also specialize in AC work, brakes, just about anything you need for your automotive repair. Omnitech is uh, an American-based. Back in, Zydeco jumping. I uh, I asked him about that last night, these jump cuts into games. It's not our fault. Trust me, if it was Matt Hort's fault, I'd call him out. <laughs> it's definitely not. We were dealing with it all night last night. I mean, you're in a commercial, then all of a sudden, yeah, right, the right. face-off is done. We get a whistle. Not sure for what. Uh, all right. Maybe, uh, oh, oh here we go. It's Portillo. No, it's Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov's wondering what he did, and hey, I didn't even see what he did. Oh, I was talking Portillo met somebody on the blue line. Uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, here we, 
I see the ref skating over there. I'm not sure what's uh yep. Yeah. I don't know. So is that tripping on Dimit uh Dimitri Kuznetsov. So two minutes into the box. The Seawolves power play or sorry, penalty kill going into this. Three quarters, seventy five percent. Zydeco power play at sixteen percent. Those numbers those numbers look favorable. Yeah, we've got to be careful tonight because we, you know, we can't afford any suspensions going into Wednesday right, night. Right. Play behind the net, patient. Passed on. Back over and an attempted big hit. I think Joe Pace might have slowed him down a little bit. And he gets sandwiched there. Took the words right out of my mouth. Like that? Yeah. What you uh, what you eating tonight, man? Sully's uh, good eats. Got a good crowd. Already had my shrimp and grits. Played along the uh, back of the net into the neutral zone. Ooh, Ooh, good move. Nice move. And, bad pass. Uh, yeah, tough pass. <laughs> nice move, bad pass. That's Chirac. He'll dump it off to Coletta. Catola. Catola. Nick Catola. Trying, man. Uh, I get Big it. Big shot. One timer. Brushed away. It was stick side. Now push forward. I'm going to have the uh, grilled mahi mahi tonight. There you go. With Royal Red Shrimp. Nice. Bar just sends that one on. Nothing going. And we will get a whistle. 13 minutes, 30 seconds left in the first period. And as you see on the graphic, 50 seconds left on the penalty kill for the season. Last doctor's penalty there kill. There you go. And also the first period of the night's game broadcast is brought to you by Glass Doctors. There you go. Face off, glove side, poked around, ricocheted around. There's Wong and Haskins getting tied up again. I imagine something might come from that, but like uh, like you said, we do not need any suspensions. Larwood's pass is true, but batted around. We don't need penalties, much Way less out, suspensions, right, right. you know. Played along, now Bond has it. The Zydeco, every time Jackson Bond has it, they're trying to put him in a box. Or you have one person pursuing, the other person's trying to cut him off. And that's, so far, they've done that well tonight. They haven't been able to, or maybe that wasn't the strategy recently. Some stick handling near the face-off circle. Play along. And, and they score. Five hole. That's going to be a goal for the Zydeco to start things off here. Ooh. So, Zydeco take a one-goal lead on the uh, quick shot between the legs of Moline. You'll see the replay here. Passed over. and Yeah, there it is. Just couldn't quite get the pads together right there. Tough to go down 1-0, but Still a lot of hockey to be played. Lissio already on it. 12 minutes, 35 seconds left. Lissio in the corner, played off the back of the net. Back over, and Lind has trouble with it. It goes in the neutral ice. Seawolves will have to check up. Here comes Helen. Helen to Bar, Bar to Lissio, and taken away by the Zydeco. Helen trying to cut it off. Lissio coming from the other side. Bar ends up with it. Bar's pass was. Incredible, but the person who received it was a Zydeco and not a Seawolf. That smells delicious, Derek. Played along. Bar goes down, wants a penalty. And referee looking the other way. Loses his stick. Good put. That was check. actually Pinkowski. Oh, it was Pinkowski. Went down. I was about to say, how did Bar get up that quick and make the play at the poke check? Here's Lissio. Played with it, tried to center it, but it goes around the boards. Wong going back after it. And that goal was scored by Bradley Richardson, assisted by Narek Alex Sanyan. Played along the boards. They're going to skate with it a little bit. He's tied up. Uh, Stoya ran into a uh, some traffic jam there. Real close to offsides, but ends up avoiding it. Very close. Yeah. That's... That's why I said it. <laughs> now Connor Mullins decides to backskate. 
eye on the puck, but they'll send it on and out of play. Looks like that one went off the net. 11 minutes left in the first. Zydeco with the uh, the quick goal. Seawolves looking to answer. We'll get a, a conversation. Bond at center ice. I'm not sure what, what that one's about, but there's been two times so far. Seawolves looking for a penalty and not getting the call. The first one, eh. Second one, we'll talk about it. Face off tie up. Referee gets involved. There we go. Kind of slow moving tonight. Now played, trying to throw the body. Anderson plays it back. That pass deflected off the boards ends up getting to the intended receiver, but uh, not the way we wanted it. Pace sends the shot wide. Now Portillo back. Portillo clears it around. Zydeco get there. Try to get it out of their own zone. They get it out of the zone, but not for long. As Portillo just sends it on. The uh, Seawolves will get a regime change. All five guys hop off the ice. Only one that stays is Moline. Larwood down the near side. Larwood with a good move. Pinkowski sticking the skate out there. Now here we go. Lissio. Lissio fighting off a stick check. Punched out. Now played out by Larwood all the way down. And nothing going. Play back near side. Cycling back around. Quick pass back. Drop pass. Set up the one-timer for Chirac. Sorry, no Robinson. But nothing going. Shot goes wide. Skating around with it again and missing it. Now, thought that was going to set up a, a run for Lissio, but didn't have the angle on it. Now into the gut <laughs> of one of the Seawolves. And here we go back down the ice. There's Connor Lind. He goes back to Wong. Wong slides in, tries to take a, a quick wrist shot, but gets hit in the back before he can get it off. Oh, big collision. Not sure if that was intentional. Looks like Haskins turned and Stoya had his head turned. Stoya's going to win that one every time. I hope we didn't get a penalty for that. Uh, we'll see. It might be a media timeout. We'll see if they discuss anything. Yeah, that's going to be a media timeout. Live from Sully's in Gulfport, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any. Back on the ice, waiting for Whoever's going to take the face off for the Seawolves? I, mean, uh, I would say Philip Wong. Yeah, there he is. So, discussion. And here we go. Puck drop. Scott Chirac, Philip Wong in the circle. Wong with a win. It goes to Stoya. Stoya sends a, a rocket down the ice and it's batted around and eventually punched out all the way in the Zydeco's defensive zone. Patient behind the net. 
Bond tries to force the issue. Gets past the lend. Now it's a race. Stoya sweeps it away. Shirok with a pass. Drop back. And what definitely was offsides. I'm going to say it looked like offsides to be professional, but uh, they get away with it. Ours was close. That one was definitely off. Played back. Jackson Bond behind the net. Bond gets it up. Avoids a hit, but loses the puck was Philip Long. Now dump back in and right in front of Jackson Bond. Jackson Bond has to circle back around, set up the offense. He'll send it around the ice in the direction of Portillo, but it gets stopped up. Larwood dumps it off. Now back over. Pinkowski will send it back around. Mullins running point on this offensive cycle. And it gets passed, and that's going to be a Omnitech ice. I saw the, the saw the salmon. You're good. I got you, man. Seven minutes, 15 seconds left. Zydeco already with a goal. Seabull's looking to answer. I'm curious as to what the shots are. So I, I'm not. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Eight to two. Baton Rouge eight. Mississippi two. One and batted around. Dangerous by Pankowski, but ended up being the right move to just butt it up. And he gets tied up in the corner a little bit. Kuznetsov now sends it. And he gets high load. Referee's looking at him. Doesn't. Yep. Portillo. When I say he gets high load, he got chop blocked. Open field. It's a penalty in every sport. It's submarine. Submarine. There you go. So I'm not sure. Looks like referee skating to the uh, penalty box, or is hopefully a power play for the Sea Wolves. We'll get a face off at center ice. Okay, not sure, not sure what the ruling there was. Uh, we're waiting on the official word. Did anybody go to the penalty box? I don't know if wow. I saw anybody. It looks like it's five on five right now. Yeah, yeah, it is. Interesting. Wow. I've seen them escorting one off as if they were going. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe the puck went out of play, or or I don't know. But nonetheless. A whiff, what would have been a shot near the goal. It's a tough angle. I'm not sure if we're going on. And they're trying. Oh, here we go. Drops his gloves and kind of forced him into this. Yeah. And then, oh. That's Portillo. And no, that Portillo? Like no it that's uh, Pankowski, Pankowski and Elias Thompson. Pretty sure that's a textbook aggressor. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't even think he's thrown. Yeah, Pinky's just trying to stay out of it. He knows he's got playoffs. Oh, yeah. So, I imagine uh, this will help the Sea Wolves. Well, if we can stay off there. Yeah. He, he's still going to get it, but, you know, that yeah. number three, he, he ain't got nothing to worry about. He ain't got no playoffs. Spoken. So, Pinkowski showing his cool a little bit, right? Very odd. There's a, Pinkowski, I, you know, he, he's been known to uh, drop the gloves with uh, with the best of them. But uh, this time, I guess cooler heads prevail. Uh, honestly, honestly, if I'd have been Pinkowski in there, I'd have left the gloves on and tried to skate off, you know. Yeah, and, he, it, it looked like know. he tried to originally, and no referee came in. Nobody did anything. Yeah, and then let and, and you know hit him with an aggressor or something. Right, right. And get it get into a uh, power play. Right. You know, you've got to do those kind of things and and be smart about it. Well, they've been done to us. Exactly. Jacob Schnapp. Huh. Yeah, there you go. The uh, probably the he's probably gotten the pest of the game more than anyone. Huh? Every time, every, every single time yeah, we play he, Carolina, he may have the the title of the Bay Pest pest of the game. And oh, it's five on four. Yeah, let's see what they hit him with. So here we go. A opportunity for the Sea Wolves. See if it's two minutes. I'm hoping five. 
I don't know if it's going to be five. Stoya played along the blue line, goes past Bond, but with uh, the penalty kill formation, has some time to grab it. That shot bounce, bounces off, and now Portillo handling the rebound. He goes back over to Wong. Wong looking for Lissio. Back over. Now to Stoya. Stoya goes to Bond. Bond goes across, tries to find Wong. Uh, loose puck. See if we can keep it in the zone. We do. Good job by Stoya, Lissio, and Bond. That shot uh, from Stoya goes wide or off the pad. Just a two minute power play if uh, looking at the graphic. And they did. They hit uh, Elias Thompson with instigator. There you go. So, minute 38 on that instigator penalty. As Wong shrugs off a hit. And looks like he's asking the referee why did he blow the whistle. He's going to get an interference. Danny Lissio with the interference. And that's unusual. We have seen a lot of interference calls in this three-game series. A lot more than normal. That's a... If you go back on the game sheet for the last uh, two nights, you're going to see a lot of interference calls. Right. I'm not... Look. We could say I'm not biased. I'm biased, right? Grew up in Mississippi. Grew up right next to Biloxi. Been to see those games when I was a kid the first time around. Uh, that was a bad call, right? That was tough. That's a tough call. I'm not going to say bad. It was tough. But nonetheless, we got one minute, four on four, and then see what was going to be on the penalty kill. That's the tough thing is it doesn't – it matters what referees you get and right. what they're prone to calling. It's a – it's a – it's a – I mean, it's just it's, – It's sports. It's, yeah, I was about yeah, to say it's yeah. just like any yeah, other sport. any other sport. Man. It's a preference, you know. Still even strength right here, so. Neither team. Baseball is the pitch location, whether it's a ball or strike, right, their right. strike zone, right? Football is pass holding. interference and holding, you know. And, and look, nothing against those officials. You know, everybody's got their own preference. They're a lot doing a lot better job than I would ever do. <laughs> I can promise you that. Bowen's now with it, starts it off, finds its way over to bar. 20 seconds at even strength. Sent back to Mullins. Now Lind. He sends it off. It's deflected. Lind, good hustle to follow that one. Still has it. Comes back around. Skating bar. Cuts in. Good move. Helen asking for the slap shot. Ends up shooting it, but goes off the uh, the and shins. Looked like he held his stick there. Yeah, he definitely held his stick there, but like I said, <laughs> non-biased here. And that one. Quick shot, quick pass, open net as uh, Moline was on the right side of the goal, or his right side of the goal. Zydeco's were on the, their right side of the goal. 2-0. Now, did that count as a power play, or was that an even strength goal? Had to be a power play because yep. it was under a minute. Okay. Right. So we're back to even strength. There are positives. There are positive things no, to take away from those. in the power play now. That's tough because you know he didn't he didn't move back as they were coming closer, right. so you know it left that wide open. I mean that's he's young, yeah, he's super young, and that's just that's one of the things that he's just going to have to have to yeah. learn and and move on. And at the same time, you know, shout out to the Zydeco they they executed that that perfectly. That's one of them tic tac toe. Mm -hmm. Long having a discussion, and looks like Connor Lynn just got. Did I see that right? I didn't see that right? Okay. Looked like Connor Lynn got kicked off the ice, but I was mistaken. Wong wins it. Pace has it. Pace goes back over. Yeah, we're five on four for 34 seconds. So, interesting. So, it must count as even strength. Huh. Interesting. Played back on. That one. Was an opportunity and almost had the quick rebound. So no, actually, we're five on five. I'm confused as to because the live stats say a power play goal, right? We're going to a media timeout oh, yeah. now. Media timeout live from Sully's in Gulfport. 
This is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. I feel like I got the best value at Heritage Homes. Buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions that I plan on making in my lifetime. And I feel like I got the best price for what I wanted. I love my house. <laughs> We're a building a lot home builder, and what that means is if you own your property or if you're looking for property to build on, then we can build on it for you. We'll help you find a floor plan and customize it. Whether you were to come in or if you were to go online and, and see our website and talk to us on the live chat, we would help you pick out a floor plan. You would work with one of our designers and he would make customizations, rearrange it for you if you wanted to um, help you make the home yours. I've had so many people that's asked me who built my house. Everything that we asked and, and said we wanted, they were willing to listen and go, we'll, we'll make it happen. Not only do we build for our homeowners, we build for their friends, their family. Uh, they even come back to us and build their second and third homes with us. We built, I think it's over 3,500 homes now. Family is important to us. We um, know that the biggest thing about family is trust and we want you to know that we're here for you throughout the process. We're right here by your side and that the house that you envision when you first walk in and meet with a designer, that's the house you're going to get whenever you finish the process and you move in. Back in the action. Missed the face-off. Missed the face-off, but all good. As you hear the uh, drinks being made in the background, Sully's place is uh, a good crowd as always. Get yourself a margarita. It was crazy because we were looking at the Hungry Howie's pizza, and yeah, then all of a sudden we're sudden playing hockey. hockey. Yeah. Uh, Jackson Bond plays the log. The power play graphic is incorrect. We have uh, we've come to that agreement. Yeah, a stick on the ground looks like a Zydeco, and that one gets past Bond. Now Zydeco with a shot. Good save. Frozen. That's Curtis Hansen who shot that one. Moline with the save. Three eleven left in the first period. Face off, Justin Barr. And a quick shot. We'll get another face off in the same spot, but we just took that one. There's no power play. We are even strength here on the ice. The goal scored, the last goal scored by the Zydeco was in the power play after the four on four even strength. So uh, that negated the power play. Lissio in the corner, he gets pressed against the glass. And there's the other cameraman. Now play it along. There's Larwood. Larwood is going to push it across the blue line. Helen, good job getting in there. And referee kind of had a little block there. Haskins sends it over. It gets sent back. Now he's sent it on. Back deep. Larwood might have been offside. That's why he didn't pursue it. Now Lissio goes over to Helen. That pass intercepted. Played on. There's Robinson. Robinson has some trouble getting it past Connor Lind. As Portillo sends his opponent into the ice, holds him there for a little bit. And Moline has a little trouble, but ends up saving it and gets the freeze. So minute 56. The good guys are down two to zero. We'll see how it goes. The good guys. I mean, who do you, Derek, who do you think the good guys are in this situation? Oh, I mean, I know. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm, You're wearing the shirt. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Right. Face off. Noah Robinson. There's pace in pursuit, and we'll get another whistle. Not sure what this one is. They'll point to neutral ice. Looks like it was offsides. Robinson and Anderson 
In the face-off circle. I haven't seen Dalton Anderson in the face-off circle tonight. There we go. Kuznetsov with a quick move around one. He'll have some trouble and dump it just out of reach. Portillo was going to get there, but it looks like a hand got on it first. Pace sends it on behind the net. There's Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov with a creative backhanded pass to Anderson. And uh, Anderson, a little too much traffic to get that shot off. Anderson misses. Skates right by it. Zydeco on the attack. Minute, 10 seconds left. Quick shot off the shoulder. Good save. Let's go. Now pressure by the Zydeco. There we go. Kuznetsov skates back. He'll settle it. And now Connor Lind will settle it. 50 seconds left. Long headed down. He has Stoya to his left. Sends it across. Connor Lynn has some trouble, fights with it, gets it. Stoya back over to Wong. Wong puts a shot on. <laughs> that was a good opportunity there. I mean, absolutely good execution, but couldn't quite get it in the back of the net. Stick finds the, uh, the ice. Stoya finds the puck. He sends it to Bond. Now 20 seconds left in the first. Back over. Bond can't pick it up. Now back across, trying to get it out of their zone or at least keep possession for the next couple seconds. There's Lucas Helland, and he'll send it on. That'll do it for the first period. So in uh, about what was it, about six minutes, seven minutes into the game, I could be mistaken, but Zydeco get on the board, and then after the four-on-four, four, after that penalty or that even strength ends, uh, they get the other one. But we'll take a short break, come back here in a little bit, and recap the first period. Live from Sully's in Gulfport, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back. Back in the game. Back in motion. Back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists. We will get you back. So here at Gold Coast Firestone, we specialize in your scheduled maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations. Um, we can special order any tire size you need, including we have some new trailer tires, ATV tires, and of course your regular car and truck tires. Um, we also specialize in AC work, brakes, just about anything you need for your automotive repair. Omnitech is a, an American-based MSP. We're a multiple service provider. We provide IT support, telephone systems, especially specializing in VoIP, voice over IP services, and uh, electronic security protection, such as uh, alarm systems, uh, surveillance systems, and access control systems. Basically, we try to be your one-stop shop for all your technical needs, and we wanna just keep you connected.
Hey, what's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back, so come out and see them. Thanks, guys. I feel like I got the best value at Heritage Homes. Buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions that I plan on making in my lifetime. And I feel like I got the best price for what I wanted. I love my house. <laughs> We're a building a lot home builder and what that means is if you own your property or if you're looking for property to build on, then we can build on it for you. We'll help you find a floor plan and customize it. Whether you were to come in or if you were to go online and, and see our website and talk to us on the live chat, we would help you pick out a floor plan. You would work with one of our designers and he would make customizations, rearrange it for you if you wanted to um, help you make the home yours. I've had so many people that's asked me who built my house. Everything that we asked and, and said we wanted, they were willing to listen and go, we'll, we'll make it happen. Not only do we build for our homeowners, we build for their friends, their family. Uh, they even come back to us and build their second and third homes with us. We built, I think it's over 3,500 homes now. Family is important to us. We um, know that the biggest thing about family is trust and we want you to know that we're here for you throughout the process. We're right here by your side and that the house that you envision when you first walk in and meet with a designer, that's the house you're gonna get whenever you finish the process and you move in. We have built great relationships with not only the players, the staff, and everything that to do with the team. We've also built great relationships with other sponsors. Um, one of the things we incorporated this year and we plan to keep moving forward with is a discount to other sponsors. And some other sponsors have now jumped on board and are offering discounts to us and other sponsors as well. So it's just building another community of networking for business networking and uh, I believe it's helping uh, grow small businesses here on the Gulf Coast. Hey Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six month tire financing program. Only $149 down, minimum purchase, and you're good to go.
here we go. Pinball Republic Seawolves down here. Woo! Having a blast. This is so intense. So much fun. So I can't wait to get back out there. Let's go. This is just kill.
All right, welcome back, Seawolves fans, as we start the second period. Seawolves winning the faceoff. Connor Lynn takes it from the back of the net. Pass is over to the left side and looks like it's going to bring us to an Omnitech icing. Yeah, great job, Derek. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> There's just a level of professionalism that uh, you don't find everywhere. You know what I mean? Oh, behave. <laughs> In the face-off circle. 14, sorry, 16 seconds. I'm not really great at math. Played back around. That'll be a face-off win for the Seawolves. And back over. Sorry, I, I, was, I, okay. I couldn't figure it out. We're good, we're good, we're good. Played back into neutral ice. Possibly, yes, the offensive zone. But taken away. And Danny Lissio going to have to make up some ground. A little bounce pass over the stick. Yeah, we've seen the puck doing some crazy things in this three-game series. Puck rolling, bouncing, dribbling. I mean, it's just... That one goes into the glove, and that'll be a save. So, another face-off. Hopefully, the, the Seawolves... I mean, Philip Wong's done a good job with the face-off circle. We saw Dalton Anderson get in there. Um, but, I mean, you got to give the credit. I know, I know we don't... The FPHL doesn't update face-off stats, but... I'd probably say we're leading that category. Hopefully, they make some shake in this offensive zone with one of them. Played along, and now it's Connor Mullen's turn to play defense. He forces him into Pinkowski. Zydeco see Pinkowski turn it around. That shot goes wide. Ricochet out. Stoya gets in front. And now Connor Mullins start the offensive push. Played back around, and here come the Zydeco. Stoya, aggressive stick. And we'll get a whistle. Not sure what for. Maybe, probably an offsides. Usually, if there, there's no discussion, nobody's throwing their hands up, nobody's angry, offsides. Face off and neutralize. Here's Dalton Anderson. That one goes the way of the Zydeco. Back over. Brushed in a neutral ice. Not sure if it was a pass or a clearance, but no icing called. All right. Portillo in there. Dalton Anderson becoming a brick wall right there. Taken away, but before the shot could find the back of the net, it was taken away too. Played back on. Seawolves keeping them to the outside. So that one took a tough ricochet. All good. It's Kuznetsov. He sends it on. Caught and settled. Now back over Lind with a good move. Lind gets past two. Makes a move on the third. Shoots it. Just left. Good opportunity. Kind of Lind. Now played back. Here's Larwood in their offensive zone. Lissio and Helen in on that one. See Helen stabbing away at that puck. And they'll get out. And... Helen's still in the pursuit. Sorry, Lissio in the pursuit. I'll go back over to Lind. Slow playing it. Not much pressure from the Zydeco. They'll get in the way and squeeze some of the life out of it, but all good. Helen dumps it on. There's a collision in front of the bench. Chirac gets it, puts it on this side. Mellon comes out. Malin comes out, plays it. And that one goes into Scott Chirac's glove. Scott Chirac's not the goalie. Bouncing around. Helen gets on it. Now Barr forces Zydeco into the boards, and that'll come out to Moline. He'll freeze it, what it looks like. Plays it, but they get the whistle. 16.30 left in the second period. See, we'll still down two goals, two to zero.
It'll be a face-off to Moline's left side. Philip Wong. In the face-off circle. Looks like Noah Robinson. Opposite of him. Referee gets the okay. Puck drop. Here we go. Wong, quick win. Goes to Stoya. Stoya settles it and then clears it. Bond kind of running that post route down there, trying to clear everything out, trying to make something shake. There's a loose puck. Wong and Bond on the offensive side. Not with the puck, and Stoya comes in there. Flashes the stick. He gets it. Kuznetsov battling. So Bond battling. Back across neutral ice. And uh, into the boards. Good job. I think that's Connor Mullins. Yeah, Connor Mullins. Physical play. Squirts Connor Mullins to Connor Lind. Yeah, there you go. Lind will send it. We'll get another whistle. We'll see what this one is. Don't think it's an icing because you got people skating to the bench, but we'll see. Good look at our uh, equipment manager there on the bench, Mr. Hunter Weinberg. Shout out, Mr. Weinberg. Looks like we have a penalty. Not sure what it is. When uh, we get the live stats, we'll let you know. All right, let's see. It's all going to be flashing. Yeah. Matt Stoya, two minute for flashing. See, we'll still kind of try to figure it out. Just bars. Mad about something. Connor Lynn's mad about something. I think maybe, maybe there's a replay. I could be wrong, but I don't know. They look like they're watching something and throwing their hands up at the uh, at the end of it. Just a bar in the face-off circle. It's Jake Cox. Be a tie-up. Seawolves will get it out. Seawolves on the penalty kill for the next minute, 50 seconds. Here's Larwood. Haskins. They'll both settle behind the net. Slow play it out. There's Jay Cox. He sends it around. Moline comes to play it out. Decides not to. There's Pinkowski. Pinkowski's going to try to keep him to the outside. Now it's Barr's turn. Up by the blue line. Some room for the Zydeco. Looks like Tyler Larwood over there on the far side. Robinson. He's back over. That one goes off a of shin. Connor Lind. Some effort on defense. Good job by Barr throwing a stick at it, clearing it out for the penalty kill. One minute left. One minute left on the penalty. 1440 left in the period. Played on, neutral ice. No. With some time to set up a shot that goes off the glove and deflect it out. So, all good. 36 seconds left on the penalty kill for the Seawolves. To take us to our first media timeout it's of the second sure period. Will, live from Sully's in Gulfport. This is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back, back in the game, back in motion, back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists, we will get you back. So here at Gold Coast Firestone, we specialize in your scheduled maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations. Um, we can special order any tire size you need, including we have some new trailer tires, ATV tires, and of course your regular car and truck tires. 
Um, we also specialize in AC work, brakes, just about anything you need for your automotive repair. Omnitech is a uh... puck drop in time for that one. Just Quick in shot, time. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Just Quick shot time. and uh, deflected, but now Zydeco still pressuring. They have 25 seconds left on that penalty. They'll skate around, go behind the net, try a backhanded shot. Moline made a tough angle. Robinson getting in that uh, that slot, low slot area in front of the goal, screening the goalie, and gets a shot, but Moline stops both up. Bond, if he could have got there, ooh, and almost. And we're back to full strength. There we go. So, penalty is over. Uh -uh. See what was penalty kill. Nice successful. effort right there, getting a stick on that puck. Long over to Stoya. They get tied up. Stoya is just bigger than everyone. Connor Lind. Goes down, sacrificing the body. Didn't have to, but willing to. Played back over and cleared out, finally out of the zone. Dumped back in. We'll get a whistle. and Flying biscuit. Yeah. And out of play. Where'd it go? All right, that guy obviously caught it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fired up about that one. I don't know if he caught the puck or if Twist and Shout yeah, was playing. Yeah. I don't know. Possibly <laughs> both. He was, he was getting after it. There you, you got a good look at the pest, the pest of, the game. of the game. Bay Pest Control Pest of the Game, Tyler Larwood for the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Out. Played on and saved and frozen by Moline. Still a decent crowd here at Sully's. The uh, normal Seawolves faithful that shows up to all the road games is actually showed up to the road game. They're in Baton Rouge tonight. So you don't hear all the yelling and hooting and hollering you normally do. Moline coming out of the net. Has some trouble. Has to get back to his feet. Yep. There we go. And your bartender over there has been nonstop. <laughs> been working. Been working. Played into the corner. Help back over. There's Larwood. And now played in the neutral zone. Spinkowski chased it. He's pressured by Larwood. Played along in a battle for it. Neither team really possessing it or, or Zydeco have it, but not really anything going. No, it's Connor Mullins, his job. Dalton Anderson, pressure. Dalton Anderson with a good stick. Push that one on the boards. Seawolves will get a line change, but Zydeco kind of catch him sleeping. Defensive pairing still out there. Ooh. Lane has some trouble, and Pinkowski goes flying. Connor Mullins skates through. Pinkowski getting a little more aggressive. I imagine something's coming from this. And here we go. Pinkowski in his second. This one he was a little more a little more ready for. Ozelinish has a pin, but got a good shot there. And you see Ozelinish takes a shot to the jaw and says, All right, go to the ice, man. You see him talking? Pinkowski still uh a little angry. I don't know, that one didn't look as, as malicious there. You know what I mean? They they seem to the first thing he does is he grabs the back of that jersey and he pulls it pulls over it the head. Yeah. He did. He this. There's nothing. There's nothing these two are doing by squaring right, off. Right. Pinkowski's trying to square off and Ozo ain't having it. He just grabs the jersey. He thinks that's a win, but it's not. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think I am in this case. The last time the Zydeco played the Seawolves in Biloxi in the Coliseum, Ozo Linish was 
at the very end of the game. Do you remember? It was the end of the second period or something. He was causing a ruckus, and then he skated and went to the bench, and everybody was like, oh. Like, all the fans were just like, oh, come on. Although I wouldn't be surprised if Pinkowski gets gets let go out of this one. Because it's they, two. Yeah. Well, no, that was, that was a cross check that it started with. Cross check to the head and neck area. I'd be surprised. So far, nothing. Fighting only. Oh. Wow, that's okay, surprising. So, yep, that's all they gave him. Yeah. Five minutes for fighting. Hanson, in the face-off circle, he'll win it for the Zydeco. A quick shot, but goes wide. Passes intended for Scott Chirac. Malene, something, I, I don't know what he did, but he did the right thing, and Helen, with a uh, high IQ hockey play right there, putting the puck into uh, Malene's stomach and freezing. So, 11.33, and is it 4-on-4? No. No, it's not 4-on-4. 5-on-5 on the ice. Zydeco end up having to play it all the way back through some... Uh, There's a, a lot of extracurricular yeah, going on. A tumultuous road. Word of the day there. Here we go. Here's uh, another conversation. That's Matt Stoya. And not everybody's too pumped to fight Matt Stoya. Not everybody's too pumped to fight Pankowski, but... Yeah, it was almost like their sticks got tied up, and then it became extracurricular. And then there was some extracurricular on that backside of the pier. I mean, the near side against the glass, uh, Jackson Bond and one of the Zydeco guys were kind of tying up, too. So it was a lot of extracurricular going on there for, it is, for guy, a baby minute. Hey, guys being dudes. That's all it is. Face off at center ice, 11 22, and the graphic is incorrect. There's five on five here, even strength, but uh, with nobody in the penalty box. Those fightings were both uh, Quitzdale majors. Connor Lynn getting in there on the physical side of it, pokes it out for Lissio, and Derek, you said it, babe. Extracurricular. Every it was didn't start out like this. Started out kind of slow moving, and then everybody's been kind of getting into it. Good opportunity oh. and off what looked like a goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, off the post there. So ringing the bells here, but no goal for the Sea Wolves yet. Lysios has a tough angle. That one gets past, and we'll have to skate all the way back. Settle it. 10 minutes, 30 seconds left in the second period. Quick passing. Gets all the way down and a shot or just above the glove, but squared him up, hit him in the chest. That was Kuznetsov who shot that one. Now to neutralize into offensive ice. I believe that's Larwood. Nope, not Larwood. So the single digit and Portillo would look like a tripping. He just, uh, he tripped on him. So it wasn't, it wasn't Portillo's tripping <laughs> battle for it. The guy goes down, a hand goes up because that's all might get called for something. Big shot. I know Robinson and that's cleared out. Now we will have a penalty. Whew. Not ideal. Nine minutes, 50 seconds, and that will take us to our second media timeout. So, live from Sully's in Gulfport, when we come back, penalty, penalty kill. This is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. What's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. 
Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast. That's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys. I feel like I got the best value at Heritage Homes. Buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions that I plan on making in my lifetime. And I feel like I got the best price for what I wanted. I love my house. Scott Chirac, Philip Wong in the face off. Here we go. Connor Lynn gets a shot in the back, goes to the ice, nothing doing. And off of Moline, good save. And we're on the uh, Glass Doctors penalty kill yeah. after Dimitri Kuznetsov's boarding penalty. A boarding penalty on the near side of your screen right before the uh, media timeout. And that shot, however risky it was, doesn't make it through the traffic. It's minute 30 left on the penalty. Zydeco will be a little more, uh, a little quicker. This offensive possession. Now pressured and put into the boards by Connor Lint. Played along the near or the far side. A couple of quick passes, quick short passes. Another one there. Along the ice goes back over for the tough angle shot. Connor Lint takes that one off the kneecap. Now played out, looking for that tough angle one-timer. Stoya doing a good job of patrolling the crease. Now opportunity. Now he'll circle back. Connor Lynn doing a good job of keeping him outside. Stoya pressures. Comes out of that position, and Connor Lind replaces him. That one goes past the blue line. Zydeco will check up. 30 seconds left on the penalty. Quick shot, quick save, face off. Eight minutes, nine seconds. Seawolves still down 2 0. Not finding the back of the net quite yet, but some good opportunities, good things happening for the boys wearing white. 21 seconds left on that power play. Face off of the Seawolf zone goes the way of the Zydeco. Helen gets in there, forces a stick to the ground. Now a battle for it on the far corner. Zydeco with possession. Stolen away, getting in front of that one. Go back over to Lysio. Lysio has Kuznetsov behind him. That's where he'll go. Kuznetsov back over to Lysio. Lysio checks, see if he can go all the way around. That one pops up just out of reach of Justin Barr. Here comes the Zydeco. Mullins goes to the ice, trying to change direction. But they'll freeze that one. Molina will freeze that one, and we will get another face-off. Derek, Matt, what, uh, what do you need to see in the next 7 minutes and 28 seconds? <laughs> A goal. There you go. I'm with you, with you on that one. More shots I'm on with, goal. Yeah, yeah. More shots on goal to create those opportunities. Offense. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm a firm believer that you know you can have less shots on goal as long as they're the right shots. Right. The qual yeah. quality over quantity. Yeah. There's two ways, two ways to look at it. Absolutely. Here comes Philip Wong. That shot, wide. Now dropped over. He's dead soft. Is Lucio out there? Wong takes a shot, but gloved. We'll get another face off. Seven minutes, six seconds left. We are even strength right now. It is not four on four with one second either way. It is five on five. No penalties. Nobody in the sin bin right now, currently. Wong. 
Philip Long in the face-off circle. That one's won by the Zydeco. Good stick check. Get it back over. Jackson Bond had to skate past that one as he was off sides when it crossed. Somebody might have yelled at the TV. I, I wanted to yell at the screen for a moment there. Stoya back over and played out. Here comes the Zydeco down the far side. They got some speed. Good shot, good save. Back around. Try or attempt. Looked about doing the uh, the wraparound attempt there from Noah Robinson, but decided against it. That one goes into the traffic. Here's Stoya. Zydeco one on two, but it's Jackson Bond. Now Wong coming in two on three. Wong comes in. Take somebody's head off. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what? I'm not sure what. Uh, there. Okay, we're good. I, th I thought it was a delayed penalty or something. That tried to be a flop there at the blue line for the hooking. If if you saw that one, but Molina will pass it out. He'll send it on and see Wolves in neutral ice. Pressure from the Zydeco. Good job getting it around. Portillo trying to make up shake. Big hit into the boards. Nobody goes to the ice, but still a transfer of energy right there. Dalton Anderson playing up front. Played out into the offensive zone for the Zydeco. Good move from Jake Cox. Gets over to Larwood. Larwood comes across. Trying to find Hanson, but couldn't get there. Hanson again in the slot. Stick goes flying. Puck goes flying. No goal. Five minutes left in the second period. Played all the way back. That'll be a Omnitech icing. And we will, will we? Yes, we will take our final media timeout of the period. Live from Sully's and Gulfport, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. We have built great relationships with not only the players, the staff, and everything that to do with the team. We've also built great relationships with other sponsors. Um, one of the things we incorporated this year and we plan to keep moving forward with is a discount to other sponsors. And some other sponsors have now jumped on board and are offering discounts to us and other sponsors as well. So it's just building another community of networking for business networking. And uh, I believe it's helping uh, grow small businesses here on the Gulf Coast. Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone, and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair. Back in the River Center, it's the Raisin Canes River Center. Over in Baton Rouge, we are in Sully's, but they're playing over in Baton Rouge. Matt Horde on the ones and twos, Derek Gladner to my right, and I'm Wes Barnett. Having a good time tonight so far. See what's in neutral ice. They'll play it along, and it'll go all the way around. And looks like a couple of guys will hop off the ice for a line change. And there's Joe Pace in pursuit of Larwood. That goal tries to squeak in, and uh, you see, you see Helen saying, "Go ahead, say something to our goalkeeper. Say something to him." Helen was looking for anyone and everyone right there. No penalties are called. It's just a conversation. That's all it is. I mean, I don't know why Laura would sit there talking though. Yeah, he ain't about that. <laughs> He is not about the last action. time he had a conversation. 
played or face off to Moline's stick side. Tie up, but somehow goes out the back of the circle. And both teams still fighting for it. I don't know who's won this face off because nobody's had a clear possession after it. Helen's in there. He's usually pretty aggressive, but I imagine aggression's ticked up a little bit. You see Larwood on the ice. That one gets out to Lissio from Barr. Helen comes back around, has some trouble settling it, finally does. Goes to Lissio. Lissio sends a shot, and I thought Barr deflected it in, but no luck just yet. Helen skates over it. Drop pass. Back around the net. That's Lind. Bar. Frustration is that one doesn't go in. There's Joe Pace. His pass is deflected. And stopped in center ice. Good move. Better move. Connor Lind gets around another one. He's going to take a shot. Goes around and runs into some Zydeco. Seawolf might have gotten his way a little bit on that one too. Out back behind Joe Pace. It's Larwood and Pace. Pace puts him into the boards. Barr comes in. Now Lynn. Lynn ends up with it. Helen will go all the way across the defensive zone for the Seawolves into the neutral zone. Lissio goes to get a shot. That's deflected wide. Now Stoya. Nope. Unable to handle it. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in the period. There's Jake Cox. That shot was put back, deflected through the legs of Moline, but good wherewithal to turn around and glove that one. That might be the save of the night. Here comes Stoya. Stoya tries to go over to Wong, and Connor Mullins takes a shot. That one. I'm telling you, boys, they're getting a little closer. Getting a little bit closer. Like I said, you just have to put the shots on goal. Here comes Wong in a battle for it. And here comes Jackson Bond. Cool camera angle there. Sends it on, but uh, does not find the back of the net. Good job keeping it in the blue line. He'll send another one. That one off a shin or a stick or... And some more Something. extracurricular going on off the camera view. Philip Wong yeah. and uh, Zydeco content to uh, kind of play back and forth. Might have earned themselves an Omnitech icing. And uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Still a 2-0 to zero game. We're at even strength. I know the graphic says four on four with one second. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. Graphic is correct. Minute 35 left. Dalton Anderson almost had an opportunity with it. Couldn't quite get it from under his feet. That'll go over. Portillo takes a shot in the back, takes another shot in the back. Very similar to that. There's Nets of boarding call, if you ask me. Now Zydeco crossed the blue line. That's Chirac. Good save by Moline. Minute eight left in the second period. We'll get a face off. Stick side of Moline. Connor Lynn. Circling, getting back to his uh, right wing position. Here's the captain. Oh, that was Wong. Thought it was Barr. It's the other captain. Zydeco with it in their offensive zone. Been here a minute. Seawolves having trouble getting it out. Back over pressured and. Might have been what we're asking for. Lynn gets it out. He goes over. Couldn't quite get it in front without any traffic. 
Bard digs that one out. He's going to get an opportunity. Wrist shot oh. and save no. by the Zydeco. 34 seconds. And Bar his frustration. And if you watch his body language after these shots, keeps building and building and building. He's getting close. This will be a face-off in the offensive zone for the Seawolves. Hopefully we can get a couple shots on goal. Yeah, we need Philip Wong to get a shot here. And think it. Bond. Oh, there's a shot by Wong. It just didn't go in. Right. Bond. You saw that. I mean, he got around, went between the legs, and then, I don't know, that was, that was wild. But still, can't find the back of the net. It's Pinkowski with it. Pinkowski, a slow forwarding pass to Stoya. Stoya goes cross ice to Bond. Zydeco doing a good job of keeping him wide, not letting anybody inside. Big battle for it. Seawolf still with it. And that one's sent on. I don't think anybody knew that was coming, but saved nonetheless. That'll be the buzzer. That'll do it for the second period. Seawolf's down 2-0, but some very uh, threatening opportunities for the guys in white. So we'll come back. Recap a little bit uh, when they get closer to puck drop. We'll get back to this third period hockey action. Live from Sully's in Gulfport, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. When injury knocks you out, Bienvo Orthopedic Specialists will be there for you every step of the way. We are here to get you back. Back in the game. Back in motion. Back to your life. Our elite team of orthopedic specialists will work side by side with you, educating you about your treatment plan, utilizing advanced technology, and providing you with a successful path to recovery. Bienville Orthopedic Specialists, we will get you back. So here at Gulf Coast Firestone, we specialize in your scheduled maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations. Um, we can special order any tire size you need, including we have some new trailer tires, ATV tires, and of course your regular car and truck tires. Um, we also specialize in AC work, brakes, just about anything you need for your automotive repair. Omnitech is a, an American-based MSP. We're a multiple service provider. We provide IT support, telephone systems, especially specializing in VoIP, voice over IP services, and uh, electronic security protection, such as uh, alarm systems, uh, surveillance systems, and access control systems. Basically, we try to be your one-stop shop for all your technical needs, and we wanna just keep you connected. What's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any, anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys.
feel like I got the best value at Heritage Homes. Buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions that I plan on making in my lifetime, and I feel like I got the best price for what I wanted. I love my house. <laughs> We're a building a lot home builder and what that means is if you own your property or if you're looking for property to build on then we can build on it for you we'll help you find a floor plan and customize it whether you were to come in or if you were to go online and, and see our website and talk to us on the live chat we would help you pick out a floor plan you would work with one of our designers and he would make customizations rearrange it for you if you wanted to um, help you make the home yours i've had so many people that's asked me who built my house Everything that we asked and, and said we wanted, they were willing to listen and go, we'll, we'll make it happen. Not only do we build for our homeowners, we build for their friends, their family. Uh, they even come back to us and build their second and third homes with us. We built, I think it's over 3,500 homes now. Family is important to us. We um, know that the biggest thing about family is trust and we want you to know that we're here for you throughout the process. We're right here by your side and that the house that you envision when you first walk in and meet with a designer, that's the house you're going to get whenever you finish the process and you move in. We have built great relationships with not only the players, the staff, and everything to do with the team. We've also built great relationships with other sponsors. Um, one of the things we incorporated this year and we plan to keep moving forward with is a discount to other sponsors and some other sponsors have now jumped on board and are offering discounts to us and other sponsors as well. So it's just building another community of networking for business networking and uh, I believe it's helping uh, grow small businesses here on the Gulf Coast. Hey Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors, you get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diaverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six-month tire financing program. Only $149 down, minimal purchase, and you're good to go. Here we go. Pinball Republic Seawolves down here. Woo! Having a blast. This is so intense. So much fun. So I can't wait to get back out there. Let's go. This is just chill.
back on the ice for some third period action. Okay. See, we'll still sound two to zero. Shout out Derek Ladner and uh, Matt Hoard on the ones and twos. I'm Wes Barnett. Uh, that outburst was from Derek. Pretty fired up for this upcoming third period. What you uh, what you expect to see? A lot more than the second period. <laughs> yeah. We gotta have something. We gotta get a goal. Well, this is it. This is it. This is this is this is the period that I put my mojo on, and and you know, because that's what the seagulls have been missing. Yeah, my mojo. (laughs) That's it. But I feel like I feel like it has built. Yeah, it has over the past two periods. You know, we got a lot more shots on goal that last period. I would expect even more. Right. And we've seen a little uh, extracurriculars tick up a little bit too. Think, um, Baton Rouge has nothing to play for. Right. So pride. They do. Yeah. Pride. Yeah, that, that too. They do. They're well. They're playing for pride. They might. They might start dropping the gloves a little bit. We've already seen a couple of uh, altercations, but hopefully, see we'll stay out of those and stay out of the uh, suspensions. It's being real, man. Being real. Zydeco with it. Uh, faking a hit. It's Joe Pace. He ends up going for the puck. Lays the hit eventually. Pushed away and taken away as we're past the first 30 seconds of this period. There's Barr. Barr sends it on. Glove save. Man. Um, 19 minutes, about 30 seconds. Clock's still running, but I promise you it's not. The ticker is running. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. clock's not running. The clock's not running. There it goes. Now it's. All right, 1920, here we go. Jackson Bond in the face-off circle. He gets the win. Wong gets a shot. Goes high and right and uh, into the netting. We will get another face-off. We'll see which way. Same way. So let's try it again. Philip Wong in the face-off circle. Has Pinkowski and Mullins behind him, but ends up going to Bond. To his left, Stoya goes to send a shot. It goes wide, and that one goes into the netting. We'll get another face off this time in the same spot. That, Long again. That, keep in mind that clock is still running yes. on their ticker, so we can't go by that moving forward. Now, one and played all the way down. Joe Pace hits it off the boards. Seawolves still have possession, this time with Stoya. Stoya drops it over to Bond. Bond tries to go around, but has it taken. Now, battling for it. Mullen's trying to keep everything in front. But Stoya ends up with it, crosses the blue line. Jackson Bond goes to throw the shoulder. Now Lynn with it. He takes a shot. Ricochets off. Goes wide. Zydeco with it. Patient in their own zone. Lynn will play behind the net. He'll pass it on. Zydeco seems to be moving a little faster. Nobody knows where the puck is. It's Connor Lynn got tied up. I thought maybe we had a stoppage for an altercation or something. That's what it looked yeah, like. <laughs> nobody, knew, nobody knew where the puck was. It happens. Almost stopped at the blue line. That'll be Mullins crossing again. Mullins weak pass and then goes to the ice. Corralled. And now it's going to be a race for it. Ushered into the offensive zone for the Zydeco. Now Larwood with it. Larwood completes a pass. That shot goes wide and into the netting. We'll get a whistle. Simpankowski pressuring. Hansen in the uh, in the corner, still getting the shot off, but uh, tough angle makes it a lot easier on Malene. Puck drop. Won by the Seawolves. Here's Lissio on this side. 
was neither team except for the recent shot from Zydeco getting much offensively going. A couple of shots here or there, but nothing really threatening from either side. Down on the corner, it'll go out. Brian to get around, but one-man wrecking crew for the Zydeco of keeping it in. Cross-ice pass completed. Now across the blue line. He'll skate back, create a little room, find the open man. And here we go. That one oh. took a uh, funny bounce off of the pad and what left what would have been a, a, a quick deflection one-timer, but uh, to no avail. Pace is passed just a little wide. Bond looked like he was going to his right. Had to switch over, couldn't get there. One man for patience from the Zydeco. We got a problem with some skates, looks like. Now back across, and that shot's deflected. Here comes over to Bond. Bond in a battle with it, and he'll end up with it. Yes. Dumped on. Haskins is going to get there first. It's Wong, and Stoya looked like he was going to go for the hit. Besides, to use better judgment, avoid the penalty. Zydeco on the attack. They'll go around the net. Jackson Bond forces him there. I don't think that was Joe Pace. Joe Pace, there you go. Joe Pace back on the ice after some time away. Zydeco behind the net. They'll come back around. Big shot. Good save. We'll get a whistle to Moline's right. I believe they have fixed the clock. I've seen it jump around a little bit, but for right now, we're gonna we're gonna say they did. Fifteen minutes, twenty seconds. I thought Mullins was gonna take it, but Mullins is gonna be battling with it, and here comes Anderson to help. But squirts out an opportunity, a quick shot deflected. Good defense keeps that one from getting to the goal. Pinkowski cutting off the passing lane. One-timer opportunity, but brushed aside. There's Mullins again. Anderson in pursuit around. Here comes Anderson. Portillo to his right. Kuznetsov to his left. Kuznetsov gets it. He takes a shot, goes into a skate. And a diving poke check from the Zydeco keep that one in the neutral zone. Here's Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov with a shot. Deflected. Now the Zydeco with it. And headed that way. Big hit. Clears the center of the ice. The Zydeco still take a shot, but... That puck was behind the net almost. It was a nice uh, hip check there by Connor Lamb. Physical game. 14 minutes left in regulation. Plenty of time. Yeah, skating around, and that's in. And we score. That's a goal. How about it? So, we'll see a number who that is. Is that Helen? I don't know. It might be Wong. Uh, it looks like Lucas Helen. But, uh, yeah, Lucas Helen. There you go. Lucas Helen with a quick snapshot. Finds the back of the net. There you go. This game got a little more interesting. One goal lead for the Zydeco. The so Seawolves. Again, there was numerous shots on net there that didn't even register right, on the uh, right. shots on hey, goal. But they did register the goal. And, That's yeah, all yeah, that matters. Yeah. That's all that matters. Quality over quantity. There, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and the we had a lot more opportunities there on that. I mean, Helen I'm just, just saying. skated around, knocked the water bottle off. There you go. Good job. See the boys fired up for that one. All right, missed the face-off, back in action. <laughs> now, Zydeco in neutral ice. That was Lorewood, but he loses possession. Back over to Barr. Lissio. Lissio sends it. Deflected. Pass back over there, Stoya. 
Stoya sends it. It goes wide. Lucas Helen gets the goal. and Justin Barr with the assist. There you go. Justin Barr, the captain of the Seawolves. I think you and I have seen it about the same time. Right, right. <laughs> you know, at first glance, it was only Lucas as unassisted. But... Stoya tries to come in pursuit, and that squirts out. There's three Zydeco and two Seawolves. Laying the body on the line, Joe Pace, but the shot ends up going a little high. Stolen away, good neutral zone pressure there. I'll see what was on the attack. Baton Rouge brushes it away. Couldn't find the puck there. Zydeco had it, the near side of the screen. That one, a long shot from past the blue line. Aline blocks it. Here comes Wong. Into neutral ice, skates back around to Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov's pass deflected, but batted back around. Seawolves will get a line change. Zydeco just hanging out. Oh, what a oh. whiff. Dalton Anderson gets an opportunity in uh, what would have been an incredible turn of events there. Does not go the Seawolves' way. Molina will pass it to Pace. Pace can't get there, and that shot will go wide. Kuznetsov can't stop it, and it'll keep going wide. Quick dump in behind the net. Bonds there. Plays it along the top of the boards. Now Zydeco's turn. Kind of slow things down. 11 minutes, 5 seconds left in regulation. Seawolves only need one now. Helen with a quick pass, and then Barr drops it over. Now Helen's going to have to battle that one, and Barr ends up with it. Tough angle shot. Put back and had an opportunity for a rebound, but didn't have anybody there. Laurelwood skates behind the net. Lissio fakes left. Fakes right. Laurelwood reads the key and makes the pass. Back over bar. Has trouble grabbing it as Mullins jumps high up in the air. Played back over and sent on by Lissio. Passed on a neutral ice. Taken away. Quick move. And a quick shot goes wide and out of play. So we'll get a whistle, and that will take us to our second. Second, yeah, second media timeout. Live from Sully's in Gulfport, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. What's going on, Mississippi Seawolves fans? It's number 23, Jackson Bond. I'm here with number 10, Philip Wong, and number 17, Kyle Russell. And we're here today at Gulf Coast Golf Carts in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's just off of exit 50. Come on out. They have new and used golf carts. They do services and repairs for any golf cart brand, so you can bring your own if you need any anything fixed up. They're the people for you. Best prices on the coast, that's a guarantee. So come and see our friends. We appreciate all their support. We want to support them back. So come out and see them. Thanks, guys.
back in Sully's in Gulfport. Face-off win, quick shot. Whew, that would have been a good way to start this, uh, this last 10 minutes. Zydeco crossing center ice. And we've got a delayed penalty, it looks like. So that's going to go on the... Was Malim falls into the net and freezes it. That puck's actually under his legs, but as you said, it's a penalty and then uh, altercation. I wonder if anything's going to come with that. doesn't look like it. Shout out to Julie LaCour <laughs> for their continued support of the Zydeco. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Waiting on some hockey. There we go. Nine minutes, 37 See, seconds. That would have been appropriate for a media timeout. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Seawolves still need a goal. Things are uh, starting to look up a little bit. Besides being five on four. Right. Did leave that part out. We'll see what the official penalty is. Slashing, Matt Stoya. Matt Stoya for slashing. So, not only do you go two minutes into the box, but you lose uh, one of your one of your defensive presences. There you see it, the graphic on the screen um, is not correct. There are ni not 19 minutes, 52 seconds left. Zydeco in the neutral ice. We'll come across, drop pass. Larwood not ready for it. Seawolves end up getting it. Now Lissio with an opportunity in front of the goal. He puts and it in the back score. of the net. There you go. Breakaway opportunity. Tied Buries game. it. On two, a shorthanded two. goal. Shorthanded. Shorthanded. Poof. There you go. If, Get like, that. Danny Lissio if, with the goal to Danny, tie it up. I was about to say, if that was Bond, I would lose it. <laughs> Lissio, you saw you saw Larwood not ready for the, for the drop pass there. And boom. Hey, Quick uh, pass over to, to Lissio, skating down the middle of the ice. Buries it, fakes left, puts it right, fakes it. Love that. So, 2-2, two -two, a shorthanded goal. Danny Lissio assisted. Justin Barr. Can't make it up now. How about that mojo? Let's there go. You, there it is. Let's go. That's what the Seawolves are missing. Let's go. That's what the Seawolves are missing. So, 8 minutes, 55 seconds left, a minute 35 on the penalty. Here comes Jackson Bond. Jackson Bond takes a shot. Wide right. You know, momentum is the realest thing ever. I don't care what anybody says. Momentum, momentum and mojo. Momentum and mojo, yeah. I'm telling you, the two, the double M, M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> Marshawn Lynch has Skittles. The Seawolves have the M&Ms. Let's get it. Cleared on. Boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> Fired up. <laughs> Stopped. Behind the net, nothing really going either way. A minute left on the penalty. And Justin Barr picks up his second assist yeah. with that second goal oh, as yeah. well. Skating around, trying to make something work. We'll go back. Big shot. Ah. Good save, but can't corral it. Zydeco with possession. Centering pass, found some traffic, popped up. 30 seconds left on the penalty. See if Lissio has a little more shorthanded magic. Barr. Nice shot by shot. Justin Barr. And Barr in a battle and uh, hate it. He looks for some help and everybody's in a line change. So he'll do the same. Fresh legs for the Seawolves on the ice. A couple guys for the Zydeco come on as well. Seawolves will have it. Shot wide Matt right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Shot there. So, obviously, the penalty is uh, over. Stoy is on the ice. Even strength now. Zydeco playing keep away right now. They'll start the offensive push around the near side, cutting around, tries to uh, do a quick extended wraparound shot. Yeah, and it went all the way across the other side of the ice. Wrapped around the boards. <laughs> Big shot. Laying a body on the line. Good job. That was Helen with the block shot. Ah. 
centering pass just out of reach. Bond tries to find somebody in the center of the ice, finds the Zydeco. Nice effort right there. Ah. Big battle for it. He'll push it around, and Bond will chase it around the side. He'll end up with it and escape the pressure. And big shot, but good save. That was a good angle shot right there. Had, had room on both sides of the net. But uh, good save. Six minutes, five seconds left in the first. Or third. Long night. His net's off. He'll send it on, but into the glove or, yeah, now into the glove. We'll get another face off. Five minutes, 52 seconds left. Regulation. And uh, shout out to the interns, ice, ice officials, and volunteers for all the Seawolves hard work this season. That's our graphic. That's not theirs. That's ours. Thanks, guys. You guys are doing a great job. I want to make sure you saw that. A shout out to our non existent interns. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm the intern right now. <laughs> All right, Helen throws the body. Five minutes. Probably And there's a there's an arm up. Yeah. So another penalty. Not sure what this one is. Helen's having a conversation. We'll see who they uh bring back to the penalty box. And it looks and like it's, it's going to be Helen. Helen. So, two minutes on the penalty with five minutes, 38 seconds left. Who wants to guess boarding? <laughs> interference. Boarding? Oh. Interf <laughs> is it? No, no, I don't know. But I'm just saying, this, as many uh, interference calls have we seen this weekend in the street game series, I went back trying to count. Roughing. Roughing. I'm not even going to ask because it looked like he just put him into the boards. That was it. It's too rough. <laughs> this is just getting, this is just getting unreal. Face off the glove side of Malin. You guys are killing it's me. Wong. <laughs> In it for the Seawolves. He's had some success in the face-off circle today. Let's hope the penalty kill can uh, make something shake. Also, wouldn't be upset with a shorthanded goal here. Wouldn't be mad. If he did that, I'd say good job. You know, probably probably yell in a restaurant, to be honest. We'll get something else, and looks like Jackson Bond's going to the penalty box. I'm going to bet that one is unsportsmanlike. Oh. <sighs> This is I know that I know Josh likes to do his predictions. That's what I'm going to put it on. Oh wow! So we're going five on, on three. three with five minutes thirty six seconds left. You take this one, Derek. Matt, you want to? You want to? What, what, you what, put your thoughts? Fun? I don't even know what you want. Fun, sportsmanlike conduct. Called it. You nailed it. I'm gonna. Oh man. So, I'm not, uh, I wouldn't call myself a great hockey mind. However, I know that in the final moments of the uh, third period, you do not want to be in a five-on-three situation. That's generally correct, sir. Yeah. Learning. Decided to go with it. See Wolves staying true, close to the net. Big shot around, there they lose it. Lynn gets it around. Lynn's trying to score here. Ends up losing the angle, pulls off. Here comes the Zydeco. Gets through. Ends up being turned away. Big shot into the legs. Jackson Bond, or Connor Lind. Bond's in the penalty box. And that one, no goal. Everybody looked at the goal, kind of worried me. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I wasn't really looking at the uh, goal. I was looking at the officials. That should bring us to our last and final media timeout. So, live from Sully's, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network. Hey, Seawolves fans. It's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone. And... Uh, 
just letting you guys know, we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seals fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six-month tire financing program. Only $149 down, minimum purchase, and you're good to go. Face off, four minutes, 52 seconds left. They'll clear it, minute 15 on that penalty kill. Zydeco circle back, three wide, here they go. Set up the offense. A little less than one minute left on the uh, penalty kill. Seawolves have no choice but to be kind of uh, conservative here. And watch that backside. Oh, off the goalpost. Thank you. Looked like it ricocheted post, yeah. off of uh, Meelan and, and then goalposted it. That one. Odd angle shot yeah. there. Has a small window we'll get back trying out. to get it through. 35 seconds left on the penalty. Played in front. Nice effort. Diving. Nice effort check. there. Looked like by Justin Barr. Justin Barr. Look at the go. captain doing yep. captain things. And he immediately skates off the oh, ice. Oh, broken stick. stick. Come on, Joe. Let's get that cleared. All right. Here we go. Here we go. 14 seconds. 10 seconds left on the penalty. Zydeco, we're going to have one more opportunity. Maybe not. Well, he's behind them. Both of them. We'll see. And, and they score. Oh, man. Not going to be a power play goal, but a goal nonetheless. Absolutely heartbreaking. Yes. Three minutes, 32 seconds left. That's tough. So, with three minutes and 32 seconds left, the Zydeco take a 3-2 to two lead. Whew. Tough. At that point, he only had one... You you had you had a you had right. a guess. Yeah. Was he going low or is he going high? And pick a side, right? Yeah, Malene went. Malene went down, and he went top top shelf. Very unfortunate. Yeah. That's all right. Hey, three, three minutes, minutes left. left. I'm gonna put my mojo on it, and we're gonna get back into yeah. the. Uh, That's what we need. We're gonna knot it all up here in a minute. Well, we got some mojo coming to the table here. So these famous cheesecakes, cheesecakes, not cheesesteaks. Larwood. Ends up getting it pickpocketed. Kuznetsov gets it and he'll send it over. Now trying to make something shake the uh, offensive pressure, or sorry, offensive presence from the Seawolves. Notice they don't have possession in their offensive zone. There's still three guys in the zone and the other two are on the blue line. We'll get a save. He wanted to play it, but ends up getting the whistle and there's a discussion. Over in the uh, corner. That's Pinkowski. Guess who? Yeah, Pinkowski, you know, the UFC, man, if it's not a title fight, it's three rounds. Pinkowski's already gone two tonight. You know what I mean? He's, he's trying to get that, that bonus. Cooler heads prevail. There's a Fortnite dance. Matt, you do the uh, the games at the Coliseum, don't you? Do again. The like you know the the what? dance the dance cam all that stuff. Yes. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're back after that discussion. Now Helen goes to the ground. Wants a penalty. And is he, he may get, one? get it. He may get one. Looks like he is. All right. Some life. Two minutes forty five seconds. 
if the Seawolves can score this or can convert on this power play, we'll be looking good. Lots of momentum, three goals in the third period would uh, be something to look forward to when you're going into uh, overtime, possibly a shootout. One second at a time. Yep. Let's not uh, look too far ahead. <laughs> Nice. Waiting on the hockey. Here we go. Tie up. Helen ends up kicking it out. Here's Stoya. Stoya with a shot. Goes off the pad. Ricochet's left. Helen gets cut off. That one goes off the, the face mask. Uh, we'll get a whistle. Another conversation here. And Matt in the pause, I'll tell you what, it's a bad day to be a cheesecake. I think that was going in about 30 seconds. You took yours down. I did. He I took did. his down. Mine, I'll be honest, still in the fridge over there. Take, taking one home to my wife. Oh, yeah. Mine was down in 30 seconds, but <laughs> yes. Matt was, Matt's was down in like 10.3. It was a race. Don't hate, son. See what goes to the ice. This uh, power play, a minute 30 left. Stoya is going to settle it. He gets it over to Lissio. Lissio, good move. Has some open ice. Ah. Shot deflected. Looks like they got a stick on it. And here we go. We'll get a couple of uh, line changes from both sides as it was cleared out. Connor Lind circles back, settles again, lets everybody get situated, figure out where they're going. And here we go. Clock is ticking. Seawolves starting to run out of time here. That shot saved. In front, bar, pandemonium in front of the net. Another shot. Oh, man. And I, Kuznetsov got a shot. Pinkowski got a shot. Barr got a shot. I think even a couple of Zydeco got a shot. That was... Uh, that was an opportunity right there. 30 seconds on the penalty. Minute 10 left in the reg in regulation. It's like a belt-fed machine gun yeah. there for a minute. Uh -huh. oh. oh, big hit. That's, uh, that's a physics lesson. Kuznetsov. Oh, is that Bond? Or is that Kuz Connor Lynn with a big shot. And five, four, three... Two, one. Penalties over. 45 seconds for the Seawolves. Because Netsov sends it around. Pinkowski in pursuit. Throws the shoulder. Keeps his footing. Zydeco will take it, and the Seawolves are going to have to pressure him. Back over. Stoya. Kick save. Tries to play it with a high stick. Helen gets it out. 15 seconds left. The Seawolves want to make something happen. They do it here. Shot saved. A little over 10 seconds. Probably 11 or 12 if I had to guess. All right. Let's go. Let's get a shot off the face-off. Let's get off. a shot. Wong, if Wong's quick in the face-off circle. Yep. Quick shot. Face-off. A couple of nah, Seawolves faithful Bates. in the crowd. Luke Bates there on cam. Shout out, Luke. Fill the ball in the face-off circle. That's what you want to see. And the goalie's pulled. Six men on the ice for the Seawolves. Looks like they'll take their time out as well. Yeah. Yep. So you know what? We'll take uh, we'll take a short one with them. Uh, when they get back, 11 seconds left. See if we can make something shake. Live from Sully's, this is the Seawolves Broadcast Network.
Back on the ice. 11 seconds left in regulation. Empty net for the Seawolves. Six skaters. Philip Wong in the face-off circle. Done a tremendous job tonight. See if we can get another one. Looks like he has Connor Lind getting ready for a, a tee-off. There's Stoya. He takes it. That one goes off the side of the net. Hit around. And uh, that belt. just about does it. Nope. Misses the net, but time, time is yeah. out. So, Seawolves in the final regular season game of the season. Drop a close one. An exciting one. I will say the third period, one of the more exciting third periods we've had this season. But uh, do not get it done. Tough, man. Just head on, head on back to Biloxi and get ready. For Wednesday night. Wednesday night's the big one. Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. in the Wolves' Den. Also, uh, the 15th, which would be Monday, there will be a Pucks and Paws. Nine to five, uh, outside by the box office. Come meet the guys, autograph pictures, uh, you know, purchase playoff tickets from nine to five on Monday, April the 15th. Biggest takeaway, Matt? Biggest takeaway, uh, really is that they, uh, the resilience. Right. You know, we came right. in and, you know, we've already lost so many in a row. We come in, we had a lackluster first period. And then we pick it up in the second period, more shots on goal, being more aggressive. Third period comes along. Now we're now we're scoring goals. We're still being aggressive, and we're still we're still putting right. putting what needs to happen. We need we need to clean it up on the penalties. Derek, any takeaways? No. All right. All I'm going to say is don't let the same game beat you twice. Right? Forget about this one. It has wow. absolutely no effect. We got it out of our has system. Absolutely no effect on we, Wednesday. We, yeah, no, we got it out of our system. Uh, we'll be fine come Wednesday. I got faith in them. Uh, for, so, for the last time of the regular season, Matt Horde on the ones and twos, Derek Gladner, and uh, my name is Wes Barnett. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us on the road if you did this season. And uh, live from Sully's, this was the Seawolves Broadcast Network. <laughs>